Okay, now, now we have to do something more here. So I claimed to you that, that we, we could differentiate all the functions we know, but really we can learn a tremendous about, about, about some functions which are really hard to get at. So, so this implicit differentiation method has one very, very important application. To, to finding inverse functions or finding uh, derivatives of inverse functions. So let's talk about that next. So first maybe we'll just illustrate by an example. If you have the function y is equal to square root x, for x positive, then of course this idea is that we should simplify this equation and we should square it so we get this somewhat simpler equation here. And then we have a notation for this. If we call f of x equal to square root of x and g of y is equal to x, this is the reversal of, the, of this, then, then the formula for g of y is that it should be y squared. And in general, in general, if we start with any old y of, is equal to f of x, and we just write down this is the defining relation for a function g, uh, the property that we're saying is that g of f of x has got to bring us back to x. And we write that in a couple of different ways. We call g the inverse of f and also we call uh, f the inverse of g. Although I'm going to be silent about which variable I want to use because people mix them up a little bit as we'll be doing when we draw a few pictures of this. So let's, let's draw a picture of, of both f and f inverse on the same graph. So first of all, first of all, I'm going to draw the graph of uh, f of x is equal to square root of x. All right, that's some shape like this. And now, in order to understand what g of y is, so, so let's do the, the, the analysis in general, but then we'll, we'll draw it in this particular case. Uh, if you have um, g of y is equal to x, that's really just the same equation, right? Um, this is the equation g of y is equal to x. That's y squared equals x. This is y equals square root of x. Those are the same equation. It's the same curve. But suppose now that we wanted to write down what g of x is. Okay, in other words, we wanted to switch the variables, so draw them, as I said, on the same graph with the same x and the same y axes then that would be, in effect, trading the roles of x and y. We have to rename every point on the graph, which is uh, the ordered pair x, y, and trade it for the opposite ones. And when you exchange x and y, so to do this, exchange x and y, and when you do that, uh, on the graphically, what that looks like is the following. Suppose you have a place here and this is the x and this is the y, then you want to trade them. So you want the, 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 the y here, right, and the x up there. So it's, it's this sort of opposite place over there. And that is the place which is uh, directly opposite this point across the uh, diagonal line x equals y. So you reflect across this or you flip across that and you get this other shape that looks like this. Maybe I'll draw it with a 
with a uh, colored piece of chalk here. All right. So this guy here is um, y equals f inverse of x, right? And indeed, if you look at these graphs, this one is the square root. This one happens to be um, uh, y equals x squared. Right? They're just, it's if you take this one and you turn it and you reverse the roles of the x-axis and the y-axis and tilt it on its side. 